Hey guys, this is Tim with Tabletop Terrors. And today James and I are going to talk to you about the R in RPG, the role playing part. So, the problem that happens a lot, and I see this a lot, people are afraid to role play. And you might have a varied comfort level with what you consider role playing. But today we're going to go through three steps to go from not really knowing how or wanting a role play to at least beginning to become a full immersion role player. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. A lot of times when people play board games, it's a little different because you're just following the rules. I mean, you're rolling the dice and you're doing stuff, but I've never seen someone that plays Monopoly really play the banker or a money-grubbing crazy person. And, and people I've played Risk with, yeah. they never play the general. It doesn't really work that way, but with RPGs, some people can get nervous when they're sitting around the table with all their friends they don't really want to dive in. What some people don't realize is everybody's sitting there thinking the same thing. Everybody wants to dive in and be their character, but they're a little bit on the inside. They're not sure what they want to say, and, and we can get them to a place where they love role-playing and, and really getting into their character. So here's why a lot of people don't like role-playing, because they're afraid of speaking in front of people, okay? I think there was a list, and it was the number one thing that people were afraid of is speaking in front of other people. Jerry Seinfeld has a joke. He basically says that people are more afraid of speaking in public than they are of death. So that, in, the, in his joke, he basically posits that more people would rather be dead in the coffin than actually giving the eulogy. Okay, so for those of you who are afraid to roleplay, uh, some people think it's weird, some people think it's, you know, kind of out there. Um, it can be, but do whatever you feel is comfortable for you. Um, I know like when we play with our family, no one really role plays per se. It's very metagamey, it's very board gamey, but we still have a good time. So do whatever's comfortable for you. That's really kind of step zero. But if you are interested in getting a little better at it, step one would be speak in the third person. Okay, so just if you approach a city guard and you have to try to talk your way into the city, you don't have to with zero experience try to talk your way through getting into the city. You don't have to do that. Just say, um, okay, my character is going to try to, uh, you know, gain favor with this guard by mentioning the insignia on his cloak. And then you can roll the roll, but you don't have to say the words. So that's the easiest way, step one, in the third person, just say, my character says this. Now that seems basic, but it's a great starting place, and that helps people at least feel comfortable thinking what their character would say. Now step two is just taking step one a little bit further. You do the same thing, you say a lot of the things in third person, but when something important comes up, you say that. Um, so when you see someone accosting someone on the street and you're trying to save them, you can scream out to them exactly what you'd say, and then continue on and tell the DM, and then I run over and I, you know, do this or stop them and battle continues or whatever happens. You only say the things that you have to say, the things that are most important. And these things also give your character another dimension because it allows you to be right in the shoes of your character without choosing every single word they have to say. The final step, or step three, is saying everything your character would say. Um, this is something that some people never get to, and that's fine. But it's the immersive role playing. So that means you can still describe to the DM what you were saying, um, you know, but. I'm sorry, not what you were saying, what you were doing. You can still describe to the DM what you're doing, but when it comes to your character speaking, you actually speak every word. Um, I actually do this in uh, an online game I play with a group called The Provokers. It's from a Fistful of Dice's uh, YouTube channel. It started out as a one-shot, and the more we played, it's just a role-playing group. We all kind of you know, dove in, and... It's the first time I've ever personally said everything as my character, and it's really neat. But it's not something that everyone can jump right into. So those are the three steps that you can take to get up to that point. And uh, we're going to go ahead and tell you one final thing. So here's one more thing that you can do kind of as a bonus. So as one more thing you can do as a DM, you can do the same thing with your characters. Again, though, you don't have to say every single word that they would say. It's really good to, for the most important characters, speak completely in the first person. But if they're talking to a city guard, or the cook, or the innkeeper, 
you can do step two, which is say some of the stuff that's more fun to say, but otherwise just explain the things they say or take the chance to give some exposition without having to say a whole bunch of sentences in the voice of this one character. It sure. makes it a little easier than having an accent and a voice for every single person. You can still get away with sort of giving everybody a little bit of character without working on fleshing out every character they may never talk to. Right, and you know, you've seen a lot of DMs who they take pride in the fact that they do an accent for every character and so on. And if that's you, go for it. But again, it's usually something you have to build up to. So to echo everything he said, as you work on this, it's okay if, if the players run into an NPC and you never speak a word of dialogue. Now, some immersion gamers might disagree with me, but again, it's a matter of stepping stones. Um, but you can build up to the important thing is what they speak, and then finally, you know, maybe you can get to a place someday where all of your NPCs speak entirely in character. Um, so I think that this is something that can help uh, both adventurers and DMs at their role playing, and it's something that you can apply immediately depending on which step you're at. All right, guys, remember to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe on YouTube if you haven't. You can also see us at tabletopterrors.com where we write articles. You can see our podcast, well, listen to our podcast, um, and see these videos. Yeah, so thanks so much for the support, guys. Uh, also, feel free to email us at tabletopterrors at gmail.com. If there are any videos that you want to see, if you have any ideas for an article that you'd like us to write, or even if you want to see if you can write a guest article on the blog, go ahead and drop us a line at tabletopterrors at gmail.com, and we'll go from there. Uh, so thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. See you next time, guys.